hey guys good evening welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridget how you guys doing today I hope you're doing well thank you very much for joining me and if this is your first time or you've been watching without subscribing do consider subscribing it's absolutely 100% free and if you hit on the bell sign you get a notification whenever I post my videos so controversial Nollywood actor Etiosa is back in the news today for all the wrong reason if I if I can say so so you guys remember um, a story that broke a couple of months ago about um, Nollywood actress Etiosa who was involved in this controversy around a live video a live Instagram video where her so-called friend MC Galaxy was on a live video and she got on that video and appeared intoxicated and you know started misbehaving basically she was taking off her clothes and it was very huge it was everywhere in the news people were talking about it people were making videos about it and to be honest before then i didn't know this young lady i've never ever heard of her and when this news broke people were saying that mc galaxy should have known better because they do have a relationship as friends that he should have you know understood um etiosa's vulnerability in terms of being under the influence and you know going through depression and everything it was really huge and after that she came out to say that she didn't know what she was doing she was struggling with a lot of things a lot of people blame mc galaxy for that action and obviously as you guys know these things happen it's big news people talk about it give it a week and it's dead but um it seems like um etiosa is not done yet she's back in the news this time around she was doing a live video on instagram and apparently she was smoking so she was smoking and playing music this music that was saying something about how you know my mom raised me but all the things my mom wanted me not to do i've gotten to lagos i'm doing it and all that and she also was saying why she was playing the video that um proverbs 22 6 says that train up a child when he is young and when he is old he will not depart from it nobody can blame my mother she trained and trained and still training i am still departing prove out 20, 20 22 6 is a scam then she took to her insta story and started posting sporadically saying oh tell me what is the essence of, of our existence and she posted another one saying the things i am not supposed to do the things i do not want to do i find myself doing these things the things my mother brought me up to hate and avoid these are the things i now love and enjoy alas proverb 22 6 is a scam so people were challenging her obviously about using the bible as an ashtray people felt offended and she didn't end here. She said, at this point in my life, where I'm really, really conflicted, trying to balance what I was told while growing up to what I'm seeing in reality now. I am grown. Things are not adding up. I truly need my mommy right now. I need prayers. Those who were challenging her said something about her. It is easy for her to do this because Christians, most Christians will look the other way. They are not going to mind if you do something like this. But if it was a Quran that you try this sort of thing with, then the Muslims are not going to take it easy with you. They will come for you. People don't play when it comes to their, uh, the Islamic holy book, which is the Quran. This girl no here what do. Next thing, she took to her Insta story again and started posting up. She said, I need a Quran ASAP. Give me your Quran and I will mess it up into seconds. Who the F do you think you are to try and see me with a textbook named a Quran or Bible? Are you mad? Oh, hello, mommy. I need you to pray for me too. No free show. Make a drop account details. On this Quran matter, I know you want me to do it, but I can't just be giving you guys free show and giving bloggers free content. You need to pay me. Pay and I will do it in two seconds. Obviously, everything she was posting on her Insta story is meant to be for like, I don't know, 24 hours on your Insta stories. But there are people there who will save it and use it subsequently. And this is exactly what happened. So... This started trending on social media, I think, in the last 24 hours. And it got to this Islamic uh, cleric who didn't find it funny at all that she was, you know, also making plans to try what she already did with the Bible when she did smoke it, but they put use a uh, Bible as an ashtray. So Muslim cleric can't come for and say, oh, you are threatening that uh, what you did to the Bible, you can do it to the Quran, eh? Okay. You can do that to the Bible because Christians, 
will just watch and go and nobody will take action but if you try this with a quran they will come for you and they are ready for you if you try this so the muslim cleric was basically dragging her for saying that she was going to do the same thing that she did to the holy bible to the holy quran Bo, bo, bo. I must drop this. Oh, I don't know her. Eighteen or eighty or I don't know. The message is just getting to me. Yeah. Give a message to her. What she just tried? Eighty or sir. Eighty or sir. What you just tried with with your Bible? Just try him with Quran. Try him. If I back up, gaga, or you book gaga, just leg it by my name, that one, registered one. If you don't strike you within some days, into a shape of Bible, if you don't try me to go, I'm you be bastard, you not be your mama born you. I'm telling you 100%. Kid of him pay. I don't know what has come over you. I don't know the scushion you are. I don't know the gay game that is driving you, gaga, that is making you go, gaga. I want you. I want that gay game that you give book. To drive you to your back or gaga. Ordinarily, people will just look at her and say, okay, maybe, you know, she's still struggling with her issues, battling with her depression or whatever it is she's going through. But what really drew people's attention to this particular video was the fact that Etiosa decided to use the Holy Bible as her ashtray. And obviously, this is not going to sit well with a lot of people. A lot of people felt offended. And to be honest with you guys, when I first saw that video, I felt really disrespected as a Christian. I was upset. And angry that ah, uh -uh. what's it come strong rich like this now? When you go come social media, you dey smoke. It's not bad enough say you dey smoke online doing live video. You use holy Bible, what people actually believe in. Millions of people believe in the word of God, and this is the Bible that represents the word of God. Irrespective of your own personal beliefs, whether you believe it or not, or whether you're a Christian or not, it doesn't matter. This is what millions of people worldwide believe in. And I felt like it was very disrespectful for her to have this way. Let's be honest. This is Nigeria for you. Nigerians, when you talk about an issue, Nigerians will come and they will attack you for talking about someone who is their tribal person. So when I talk about an able person, people will come and not engage in the issue that I'm talking about, but they will rather engage in the tribe. And we all who are Nigerians know that tribalism is one of the issues that yes, that tears people apart. And I've said it a million times. People come to me and say, Oh, but don't you both hate Igbo people? I'm like, Really? Where are you getting that from? I be what have I done to indicate that I hate Igbo people? I don't even have hate in my diary, it's not in my diction, it's not something that, that I ever have in my heart against anybody or any group of people. So why will I hate Igbo people? No. You see, I feel like when people don't have any good standing position in a discussion or in an argument then the result of tribal is yo you don't like Igbo people you don't like with this uh, uh, yoruba people you don't like Edo people that's what you're talking about and no that's not the point anyway moving on desecrating the what people believe in as the word of god the holy bible that millions of people worldwide hold on to for their faith and their belief irrespective of whether you believe it or not is just wrong it is it is very very wrong on all level you do not desecrate somebody else's faith whether you believe it or not it's the same thing as people who worship ogun or sa or whatever gods that you worship in african gods i mean i spent a lot of my time growing up in in benin city and i see where people go you know to the shrine to go and worship they go to the river openly to go and bath and everybody minds their business because you have to respect other people's beliefs whether you believe it or not you have to respect it i'll tell you guys a quick story when i was in in college my cousin my ver my very close first cousin who is a female was dating this guy who brother was a very high chief in the benin kingdom and in that man's compound i remember very clearly he has a palace like his own palace in uh, kenwan road and he has all you know different different shrine in that compound i remember the first time i went there to visit my cousin went she took me to go and meet her boyfriend i saw all this shrine and i saw so many you know things that were laid out like sacrifices idols everything you know it was scary to me because it's not something that i'm used to but i didn't say a word i just respected it i did not condemn it i didn't say a word i just in my heart i said you know what i don't understand what is going on there and i'm not going to go back there 
because it's not just my thing it's not something i'm used to but i'm not gonna go over there and say chief why you they do all this thing why you they serve juju don't you know it's wrong don't you know that jesus christ died for you and all that because that would just be plain you know disrespectful this is his belief this is his faith so this is the way i i i, I feel like you should treat another person's faith you have to be respectful and this is the problem we have as africans with this just lack of respect another thing that came to mind was about fame this issue of fame is not for everybody i tell you a lot of young girls in nigeria wants to be famous but they have no idea what comes with fame because it's not everybody that can handle fame especially if you are very fragile if you are emotionally and mentally very fragile then you don't want to be messing around with fame because when you become famous it kind of pushes you out there in the limelight and you might not be ready for what comes with it especially in a place like nigeria where there's so much expectation they expect you as an actress in this case now we're talking about Tiosa. they expect you to have a certain standard of life to live in a certain place to have a certain to have this standard of life which might not be you know necessarily come because maybe you are you are not having regular work or whatever or maybe the industry is not paying or you are not in that category yet where you can you know afford to live that lifestyle so i dare say that fame is not for everyone it's not for the fragile, it's not for the vulnerable, it's not for people who have issues with mental health or people who are struggling emotionally. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about Setiosa. I saw a video where she was saying how the worst mistake she ever made in her life was setting in a marriage, marrying a man who was controlling and that she got married at the age of 22. As, and I saw another video where she celebrated her 29th birthday this year, 2019. So what she was saying is that she got married very early and the marriage was not good in that the man was very controlling and she said she's seen it or what she went through in that marriage was really really bad i do empathize with her she said she was suffering from depression when the issue of the mc galaxy happened and i do empathize with her but when you are having mental health or emotional health issues make you the smoke a bowl is the last thing that you want to do because the only thing that you will do when you are drinking so much and you they smoke it but it will exacerbate the issues that you already have with your mental health and your emotional health when people are going through things sometimes they don't give themselves time to really avail themselves that opportunity to be able to get help and i'm thinking is this girl not surrounded by friends or family is it that they are not seeing that this girl is really really going through something she's having some issues i mean look at her she's a very pretty girl on the outward she has a pretty face she looks good she speaks well but you can tell by this outburst which this is the second one now that you can tell that there's something really really going on underneath all this makeup and all this packaging that is not right she is going through something so i'm wondering why nobody is taking the time to say they want to help her they want to get her some help so that she can be well social media is not helping it exposing yourself on social media every day making videos commenting on 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 blogs and you know drawing attention to yourself because what it is is that the more you put yourself out there when you are vulnerable and you are not balanced mentally the more you are likely to exhibit your mistakes online whatever you are doing let's take for instance that she's having drinking problems or you know she's smoking this ego and all of a sudden because she's always online this she's making live videos and everyone everyone is saying it so social media does not help at all i'm just going to end by saying that whoever knows Matilda needs to go and get her parents or her loved ones or people who know her to get some help because i am very concerned about the way this young lady seems to be deteriorating you know her behavior it leaves much to be desired and she's just exposing herself she seems really vulnerable the more you behave badly you're calling attention to yourself not the right kind of attention whether you you you're seeking to trend or whatever it is is a cry out for help the more attention you get and most of it is going to be negative so people will come they will troll you they will throw shade they'll do video reaction the blogs will carry it and you will trend but at the end of the day when all that high goes down you can't begin to take your life say hey, what have i done what have i done i mean the way she kept saying oh my mom needs to pray for me my mom needs to do this my mom needs to do you can tell that she had a very good upbringing like her mom really did her best to train her but she's 
for some reason either because of the issues she's been through in her life or whatever and she's just behaving badly i don't know this is my thoughts about this issue and i just hope that she gets better but i hope that she's able to forgive herself and forgive those who hurt her and most of all ask god to forgive her for what she did by using a holy book as ash tree anyway i'm just going to leave you here today thanks a lot for watching leave your thoughts and comment in the comment section and i'll speak to you in my next one i love you Bye bye